Oh, hello there, friends and family. Ah, you surprised me again. Didn't expect to see you back so soon. You know, we just saw you over at Walmart when we went shopping on Friday. But here it is. It's Labor Day 2022. And normally I don't go anywhere on Labor Day. You know, back in the past, you know, we'd be uh, getting things prepared this time of day. It's a little bit before noon, you know, to have our Labor Day barbecue. Yeah, that's pretty much become a staple here in America of what people do on Labor Day. They don't even think about what the holiday's about anymore. They just know it's about, you know, barbecuing, going to the lake, going to the camp, going somewhere. Or, like so many do now, just going out to eat. They don't even mess with setting up the tables in the yard or the lawn chairs anymore, let alone the barbecue. But many do. Now, I'm not going to barbecue today for just one little old man. But I am going to run up soup foods quick. And since y'all dropped in, uh, when I wasn't looking, y'all can come too. So, y'all pile on in. Some of you can get in the cab. The rest got to get in the back in the bed. And we'll run over there. It's not far. It won't take long. See you there, okay? Well, hello there, friends and family. And as you can see, we're back at Superfoods again. And we're just here to pick up a few things here on this Labor Day 2022. Now, did you see the price of those Vienna sausages? I'll bet they were on a mirror at 81 cents a can. Outrageous. Ooh. But they're still keeping their bananas at 35 cents. Yep, ain't many bananas left either. I don't know how Superfoods does it. No one's got bananas for cheap. Well, canned good, Al. Looking pretty good. Considering, you know, they've been shopping Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and now, half a Monday. But we're not here for the canned goods. I was just looking at something for a second, checking the prices. We're off to check something over here in the produce section. Plus, we had to pick up something that we've gotten a little bit shy on here lately. Or slim or slack. Notice the buggies, though, as we go around. They'll tell you just what the situation is here in my small little town. Oh, they have onions. Oh, here we are. This is just what we were looking for. No, and I'm not saying the young ladies over looking over the lettuce either. It's these potatoes right here. Yep. Right here. We want some of these here fine individual ones. Or formerly known as bulk pack. They're the ones we dig through to try to find big ones for baked potatoes. But look at these prices. Ooh. What is that? Ten pounds or eight pounds? 10 pounds for 9.19. 20 pounds of rusk for 18.32. Oh my. We only have four bags of those 20 pounders. We've got some baby steakhouse here. A little old 1.5 pound bag, 3.26. Or you can go over here and get the four pound bag of dole russet for 4.11. Yeah, the prices here are better than the Walmart we visited Friday. But not by much. Now well, those are some fine looking russets right there. Maybe we can find a few at $1.57 a pound? Really? Well, it's come to that state of affairs. We're now into individual potatoes. So, let me set y'all back in the buggy. And I'll get a bag. And... I'll see if I can pick out a few good ones. Not many. And we can just sit here and look around the store. If you look up there on the right, you can see some prices. Of things such as celery, yeah, cherry tomatoes, iceberg lettuce. Yeah, that'll knock you down to $2.54 a head. <laughs> Pricey. This young lady, she came back, I guess, to preview see if she uh, could even afford some of this stuff. She passed it by the first time. But that's what I've been noticing in stores, whether I'll be Walmart or my locally owned and operated Superfoods. People's buggies are slim. 
and I've seen people take stuff, look at it, and then put it back. Even if they had to come back from wherever they wandered off to. That's just the way it is these times. And if you look forward, maybe you can see what the price of fruit is cost. Well, there's three. Three potatoes at a dollar fifty-seven. We'll have to find out what those cost us after we check out. Yeah, we can just look at some prices here. Now this says two fifty-four for a head of this Beauregard iceberg lettuce. That's pricey. Of course, cucumbers seventy-three cents. The romaine for three heads. What was that? Four something. Celery, $1.36 bunch. Now, that ain't bad. And look at the price of bell peppers. $5.32 for three of those colorful ones from Canada. Mushrooms aren't bad, I guess. I've been buying the can more. There's what's a little bitty old pint pack for $1.96. Or you can get six cloves of garlic, two seventeen. dollars I don't think that's all too bad. Then they got more potatoes over here on this side. Now you may be wondering what all the interest in potatoes. Well, many of y'all that keep up with preparedness, uh, the preppers, homesteaders and stuff, you'll know why I was sort of concerned. Look at those baby gold right there. 326 for that tiny little bag. Or you can get some baby reds for 326. Some of those seafood broiler reds for 340. 1.5 pounds. Insane. There's some butter golds for $3.97. Some more baby reds for $2.95. And down there, 10 pounds. Overall potato prices are just crazy, aren't they? Here's, you know, what, 5 pounds for $4.38 for red potatoes. But my point is, there are potatoes here. Now normally, where the onions are right now, there would be another thing here full of potatoes. And the onions would be over where that little blue uh, hand white pavilion is. So we'll just go over here and look at these here fine red ripe tomatoes. They're looking good. $1.39 a pound for those slices. Well as you know I garden. And I've got some tomatoes coming on. But currently, none are right. So hey, y'all turn your heads. I'm gonna pick out a few of these too, if you don't mind. Yep, we're gonna set you back in the buggy. I know some of you are shaking your heads going, no, nope, mm -mm, we're not gonna do it. You wanna run around the store, check on some other things. But, hey, just look over there to the right, and you'll see a lot of gaps in the peanut butter. We've talked about that before. Yeah, it all started with a GIF recall. And then I think they all figured out, hey, we hold it back, the people will pay more. Yeah, they create a shortage. But as far as I can find out, GIF is back up and running. Skippy's doing okay. They're all doing okay, even though Mrs. Smuckers. But look at what we got for peanut butter today. Well, there's three of those nice, fine, red, ripe tomatoes. Yep, we'll be enjoying them. You know what? I might even take out some bacon out of the freezer vault to make some of those BLTs. There's some people viewing the luncheon meat. So you got to have a family meeting now just for luncheon meat. Well, as you can see, the pork section, you know, the cheaper meat, is wiped out for this holiday, as you might suspect. They got some good prices here. $2.45 for your pork chops. You know, quarter pork loin. First loin chops, $2.20. You can pick up nice slabs of ribs for $2.25 a pound. Country style ribs, $2.45 a pound. Yeah, prices aren't bad. And this is what people are grabbing. And a favorite on uh, Labor Day is always the Boston Butts. 
which are slap wiped out. But they do got some pork loin, roast loin in for $1.85 a pound, which will work just fine too. But then they got their hamburger, 270 a pound. Remember when we were at Walmart Friday and it was 492 for the 7327 grind? Yeah. Get your meats here at Superfoods. Shop your locally owned and locally operated foods stores while you still have them. We were hoping there'd be some specials on meat today, but should have known better. It's the holidays. Well, we could get a sirloin steak there for $6.99 or a ribeye for $11.69 or maybe a New York strip for $11.26 a pound or a nice T-bone for $9.38. You know what? I'll just pass. I think I got a steak hidden in the freezer. Maybe just one. That'll do for today. Well, Chuck steak's even six forty a pound. And you know what? That's really not steak. <laughs> in my mind, that's a roast sliced thin. Ooh, those fancy chickens, dollar ninety five a pound. Plenty of chicken though probably stocked up because that used to be a staple on our Labor Day barbecue chicken for the longest time it was just hot dogs and hamburgers we got to grab a few things else and we got to run out of here the only reason we came was to pick up a few potatoes and we decided to get a few tomatoes yeah so let me grab a few other things and we'll head her on back and jump in the truck and understand the stores, you know, looking a little sparse in places. But, you know, the biggest shopping days were Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and it is the Labor Day weekend, so people are going to try to enjoy their holiday. And they did. By the looks of it. So, hey, we'll see you when we get back in the truck. If you don't mind. Yeah, while we're here, we'll just check and see what eggs are running these days. Well, they got medium eggs back. That's a good thing. But it'll cost you 205. Well, I remember in 2018 when I could have bought those for 73 cents. Yeah. Large eggs, 252 for a dozen. Well, hopefully one day they'll come back down to normal. Once upon a time, they did. Like always, chip aisle wiped out for the weekend and the holiday. Well, y'all, we're back at the house. Yep. And we're in the little old country kitchen. Now, I did tell you that I we'd go over what these potatoes cost. And there are some nice ones. Look at those things. Simply beautiful. I'm sure they're Idaho's because I know they're russets and they're excellent for baking and that's just what we're gonna do with them have a baked potato you know one of those uh, over stuff double stuff triple stuff yeah whole meal thing in a single potato you know that with a bunch of other stuff uh, mixed on in loaded on top you know what I'm talking about and there's our three tomatoes we got, looking mighty fine. Now the cucumbers there, of course, as you know, I grew them. Or maybe you don't know, if you're new to the channel. But hey, I just happen to have my receipt right here. See it right here? And those baking potatoes there were uh, $2 and, well not $2. For the three, it was 2.52 pounds. At $1.57 a pound, yep, crazy. Those three potatoes cost $3.96. If I would have told you that last year, or the year before, or the year before, that one day soon, we'd be paying $1.25, say, for one potato, 
You'd have called me a lunatic, wouldn't you? But here we are. And this is what we're paying. And the tomatoes there, just in case you wanted to know, the three of those fine red ripe tomatoes, locally grown, were a dollar seven a uh, dollar five a pound for one point seven seven pounds. Yeah. So the tomatoes cost me a dollar eighty six. Actually, when would you ever have thought that tomatoes would have been cheaper than potatoes? Yeah. We bought some other stuff. I actually did go back and see two pieces of meat that were real cheap that I picked up. Yeah. You know, I didn't buy a lot. The whole sum total of it came to twenty-five twenty-five. I think that is. No, twenty-nine twenty-five. Anyway, I don't got my glasses on. I can't see. But you can see right there. I bought a little beef sirloin tip steak, four ninety-two, and a T-bone steak for five seventy-two. Yeah, one's for today because it's a holiday. The other, I will save for a special occasion. Trust me that. So there you have it. Never before in my mind would I ever guessed potatoes would have cost what they cost today. But here we are. And I have my own thoughts and beliefs on it. Now, I checked. We never actually ran out of potatoes this year. And potato harvest started back in July. Yeah, it actually does. Now you might say Idaho's ain't. Wisconsin's ain't. Red River Valley ain't. Well, other states grow them too. I know Pennsylvania potato harvest started in July. <laughs> now, they may not be the power player Idaho is, but they grow them too, as do many other states that harvest all throughout the second half of the year. So, hey, if we never really ran out and we still have potatoes, surely we do. If you remember when we went to Walmart, they had potatoes that were even more expensive than the ones here at Superfoods. They had them dehydrated, flaked and instant, and frozen. Yeah, and that was on a Friday too. So here in my little piece of paradise, we have yet to run out of potatoes. I'll be it. We're paying three to four times the price. For what I'm thinking, because of some, is a perceived shortage. Yeah. It's when we think there'll be none, so we all run out and grab a some. Yeah, it's caused things like toilet paper shortages in the past, fuel shortages in the past, when, had we acted right, there would have been none. And that's just the truth that many just can't deal with anymore. Because like I say, far too many are chomping at the bit these days to be all too right that we'll starve to death in the coming winter. And if not then, they'll move it to sometime next year. Yeah. So y'all, there you have it. Just a little mad dash into superfoods to pick up a, th a couple of things we needed. It was just the potatoes that we need. And you see what we did? We bought some sodas. We bought some beef. You know, for the first time in, what, two years? Yeah. We're gonna splurge today. And maybe another holiday in the future to come. But hey, I do hope, wherever you may be, you're not having shortages. Prices may not be as high. If they're higher, oh, I don't know how you're doing it, because I know they are in many places in the world. But hey, until I, Kitty Crew, you know, Cleo, Spooky Speedy, Mr. Gray, Magoo, sometimes he Cliff. Little Gracie and a little bit too. See you on that next video. Y'all take care. Stay safe. Prepare as you will and must. May God bless you as you bless others in your life. Goodbye for now.
I think we're going to have to lock up the potatoes. Yeah. Keep them under lock and key. That's probably coming. Can you imagine? 